Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and I'm going to be making cartoon eyes today. This is for the Mr. Potato Head project, but you can use these eyes for pretty much anything. Now, I'll go over front, back, left, to right, something straight on like that. I'll let G to get rid of the grid because I really don't like the grid. And I'll just make a sphere straight on like this, just out of habit. I have it facing me that way with the pole facing me. It just seems to work better for me. I want to have it like this and well, let's change that color that's not going to work too well this is the outside of the eye so I'll make it white like so and for this eye I'm going to squish it so right away I'll go to squish it I don't need it to be editable or anything I'll just go in and I'll squish this guy flat relatively flat like a cartoon eye would and I'll bring it in this way a little bit too I can do it over here in this window so you can see it and we'll squish it in this way a bit too so we've got a nice cartoon I look okay a little more for drama there we are so if I take a look through here hit G to get rid of the grid and back to my regular selection tool I've just got this little cartoon eye so this is basic squashed cartoon eye not realistic by any means and we need something on top of that we need something else here so I'll grab the move tool I'll hold down my shift and just using one of the axes just grab one of the axes here hold down the shift and bring it out a little bit. A little bit is fine. There we go. We just want a copy of it. I'll call this, I guess, pupil, the inside of the eye. And I'll change this right away. I'll change the color of it. Ta-da, ta-da. There we go. Now, of course, I'm going to resize this. Grab it from the center and resize that down. And what you have is a pupil that is exactly the same kind of shape. So it flows very, very well. It stays there perfectly centered and perfectly on and it's just perfect if you want to mesh with both of these that's a perfect option then go into the modifiers hit mesh with on one and mesh move because there's still a little bit of well roughness to it and mesh move on the other so when I have this it looks pretty darn good and you have this really nice looking cartoony eye okay so you can move this around take pictures I can kind of rotate this around but it's difficult because this is a flat method because when I flatten the eye I can't really move the pupil around too easily or it starts looking a bit strange so that's oh, actually kind of funny isn't it I'd love to animate that that's pretty good anyway you really can't move the pupil around too easily so stick with that if I want to put textures on for black and white specularity or something that's fine so we have the cartoon eye one thing I can't resist doing well first you want to save it as a pain for your Mr. Potato Head, if that's what you happen to be doing. Can't resist holding down the shift, grabbing both of them and moving it over a little bit. So now I have, yes, two cartoony eyes. Copy is fine. And there you go. So, there they are. Two very cartoony, very cute looking eyes. That's the first part, and these work wonders. It's perfectly built. Great eyes for a cartoon character. Another thing we can do to this, this is just the cartoony eyes, is to add kind of a highlight. If we render right now, we don't have too much of a highlight. It's just regular white highlight in here, which is actually fine. We can play with that with specularity and so forth. But I'm actually going to go into these. I'll just demonstrate on one of these. I'll go in and I will change it. Material editor here. I move into just a regular standard material. And I'll apply it instantly. So let's apply material to selection. Change the color out. And I want this to be black. There we go. Now, it changed something here because it doesn't have the specularity anymore. This one catches the light. This one doesn't. So I'll have to zoom in a little bit so you can see that more clearly. And we can change the specularity, of course. Here's how you do it. One way you can do it is right in here in specular levels. And you can see it in there and the glossiness is how much that spreads. You see a little chart there. I'll keep it about like so for right now and I want to really crank up the specularity. Alright. Now just by putting my own material on I've been able to do that, which is great. I can move things around so it catches the light more. It's just going for a single shot. And you have a very appealing kind of ah it's a bit too centered out. That's a bit better. But you see shots like this all the time in cartoons and anime and so forth, where it has the little highlight there and it looks all nice and innocent. 
very cute technique and it works extremely well. Now if I want to put some color there, I actually can. Remember that's a specular, the specularity level, pretty much the intensity with which it catches the light. Now we have this specular color. When I can do that, I can fit something into there. I can do pretty much whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to put an image. So I'll just grab something. Let's see. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this one. This looks nice, kind of a green and tan type of picture, pretty much at random. I'll drag that into the specular color. So I'm going to drag that in. It's actually going to appear that way. Might not be too bright yet. Ah, there it goes. Okay. So we have the specularity is way too spread out. So I'll have to manually adjust this. And you can see I'm bringing it down. Try it again. There you go. That's not bad. The way it's put on, it didn't do a UVW map on there, so you have to play with it. And we'll open up this bitmap. I can change UVW. Now this way looks kind of cute. But I can change the V and W, and this way will catch the full highlights that way. So this looks very cute also, and looks a lot more realistic because we're catching the scene's highlight. Um, let's see, the blur is set all the way to 1 here. If I set this way down, it can be a bit different. And we'll go to the UV again to show you that. It's going to be much sharper that way. But we'll keep it up. Blur offset helps out too to make it much blurry. There you go. And now you start to see some of the colors mixed in, which is kind of nice. And it's no longer so sharp. VW is great. Have the colors mixed there, and it's a good effect. You can also try something a little different from doing a different, yeah, cut it from a different angle. Kind of a green highlight. Actually, I think I'll go with this for now. This looks great. So, I like what I've got. I'll grab this eye, and I will kill it. And I'll go over to this, do the move tool and simply move this over so I have my eyes back to normal and when I render this guy it should be this cutesy little guy with nice highlights now I can change the highlights around and move that let's go ahead and do that now with both of them this is going to look a bit strange if I do it like this okay so you can make it almost like a haunted look and I'm going to keep it the cutesy kind of look here okay I've got the default light up there I might have to put my own light in but here you go. And there's a nice cutesy kind of look. Much richer, much warmer than using just regular white light highlights. Okay, that's the next step up in your cartoon eyes.